Hi guys, my name is Firefly and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn where we're trying to make a modular base in this series. And when I say modular, I mean like in the last episode, we built this square box that is going to be surrounded by water. But each square box is going to have its own function. So in the last episode, we built our maple forest, which is going great. It gives us plenty of wood. And we had to start on our farm. Now, the reason why I need to start on the farm is because I need to start moving all of this. And the reason why I need to move all of this is because I need to make each and every tree. Well, I not need to make, I want to make. So we're going to need a chestnut tree box. We're going to need a pine tree box. And we're going to need a birch box. And they're going to go all in line here. And then, because we're going to have to delete this, we're going to need to put all our carrots here. So you know what that means. We're going to need four empty modules to play about with. So within a blink of an eye, one module is already done. Now, 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 now we have room for farming. And I have also put some of these on the side because we need to raise the water level. We need to get this water level raised. And in droughts, we need it to stay. Is that? Is that two blocks? No, um, that is. Okay, let's put it to 1.5 for now. We we'll mostly need some levees here. Like this. Um, yeah, I can get them on that now actually. So let's get that like that. And there we go. We'll do the same here. So they can get up there. I don't know if the parking is far enough though. We'll see, we'll see. Let's, let's check this out. Should be okay. Should be okay. I can set that back to two then actually. That's fine. All right, it's rising very slowly. We don't have a lot of uh, water power on this stage. Anyways, now we've got our farming module. How are we gonna do this? Now, I do want to use metal platforms, but I don't have much metal. As you can see, I've only got 100 at the moment. At the moment. But it doesn't stop me from planning that out. Now, this whole module is going to produce carrots. It's going to store carrots. Now, we don't need to produce um, anything with carrots, so it's not going to have any sort of food production in here. But the other modules, like the potatoes and the wheat, they're going to have their own storage and own productions in within their module and the good thing of having this sort of setup we can have power run underwater oh whoa 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 wait two seconds i'm flooding my base <laughs> i am flooding my base how much food have i got hmm it kind of doesn't matter because i'm deleting all this you know what for now let's just put it down to um one yeah let's put it to one hopefully that will get rid of the majority of it and then we can close it back up okay cool because we're going to get rid of this area anyway in this episode hopefully so as you can see there's a bit of brown spot here but that's going to be okay when we put water all the way around but let's get a way down there first that is important we do need to get down there we can go something like that, like that. Cool. Now, oh, also another thing. I want to put um, a tapper stack in here or tapper shack because we get so much wood that they don't end up um, farming at all. So we might as well collect it, right? We might as well collect some of the maple syrup. Same with the birch, I think it is, or the chestnuts. Yeah, pine and chestnuts. Cool back to farming so i want to plan out to have metal platforms even though we won't have it right now because i just don't have the material but the metal platforms are going to be there to put farm stations on and to put storage on so if i do and i'm going to pause it because i don't want them to start actually building it if i do something like this 
but no, 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 it's got to be a little bit in line with each other. Yeah, I like that. If I do something like this, right? Let's take a look at the bridges we've got. This one. Oh. Hmm. How does storage fit on this? Storage fits pretty, pretty fine. Now we don't need that much storage. But we will need more platforms to be honest with you. That can fit right there. Oh, I love that. Absolutely love that. Okay. So if we do something like that, we do have to get them down here as well. There will need to be a, some sort of stairway. This will have to move a bit closer. Maybe something like that. And then we can do that and that. Cool. I'm liking it. You can have farms. Now, the reason why Iron Tooth are amazing yeah, is because of these massive metal platforms. If you watch my last se series, we tried to put farms on top of metal platforms with the folk tail, and it's just so difficult because <laughs> they're such small platforms. But look at this. We can get two farms up there and they're most likely going to be able to use all this area. You may even put another two here. Not sure yet. Not sure. We can run wild with our imagination. Or we can put a farm in the middle and then use these for something else like some monuments or something like that. If we did something like this. This is going to cost so much metal. I don't even think I will have enough metal to do it. Not right now. I definitely won't have with just this. This is going to cost us like, they're 500 each. That's already 2,500. That's 5,000 metal. That is a lot. That's going to take some time. <laughs> I warn you, that is going to take some time. All right, monuments. Oh, they seem so small in this, don't they? Do something like this. And then get the next metal platform. And then more monuments. Like so. Now this area is gonna be blown up, so eventually they'll have a, they'll have a better view. And then what bridges did I use? Did I use a two space? I think I did. I think I did. Alright. We can do something like that. There we go. And then we can just put loads of storage. We can make. Look at that. That fits absolutely perfectly. That looks pretty amazing. I wish I had the resources to complete this in this episode. That would be so cool. Um, okay, so I kind of want to make this pathway a little bit different because I want it to go like this and the reason why because I want to put benches. You need to be able to sit down. Let's do the same here. And do that. And this number. Now they need to be able to get up and down. But first, we need some bushes, because bushes are extremely important. And then let's get a metal fence. Just to show some safety, you know. We've got to be safe when we're walking on the edge. Now, 
how are we going to get down? Like that. So, I was thinking we can use this area to start making a stairway going down. Could we use anything to go up from here? Because this is going to take a lot of pathing. Now we will be bringing the district like, down a bit more so it'll be on level with these things here. So it might help a bit, but right now the district is not like that. So let's think of a way to get this going down. Okay, so I've come up with this staircase at the moment. Um, I think that should be okay. I think that should be okay. So now we need to do the farming, the important part. So unfortunately, because I can't make them farms at the moment, we are going to need to make farms down here. Why is that too far? Oh, they don't have stairs yet. Okay, that's fine. Let's do something like this. I think three farmhouses should be more than enough. I might actually have to put one more up here. I will think about that later. We'll think about that later. Right, and then it literally just carries everywhere. <laughs> Look at that. Oh man, that is going to be one hell of a lot of carrots. So, oh, let's get some more eagle statues. Are they facing the right way? They are facing the right way. And we'll put some more designing around here, maybe some roofs and some of that jargon. But for now, we need to get the bottom bit farming done. And we need to make another three more boxes so that we can uh, start getting more trees. So let's unpause that. And uh, let's get the next box done. And now them two boxes are done. We can finally start planting more trees. Now. I've made this box a little bit bigger. And the reason being is because we're gonna put chestnuts in this one and maybe some berries. And in this one, we're gonna do um, the last two. There's no point making a whole box just for these two, to be honest. I will need a uh, pine resin, but it's not, I'm not gonna be needing it like too, too much. So I'm just gonna make, I may not even make birch, it's kind of pointless really at this stage in the game so it may just have blueberries first let's take a look at what we're doing with this one so if we're making chestnuts now what i do want to do is make the grill in here i would love to make the grill up in here on a metal platform but we just don't have enough metal so that will most become eventually but first let's get one of these done Let's get some of these down. Now we don't need that many because this provides us with a ton of wood. So we don't need that many, but we will have some gathering flags and we will need actually some more beavers. So let's get, because we've got, look at this, we've got a thousand carrots. We're absolutely fine with carrots, with food for now. Let's get, another printing pod print done. All right, they, that can pause for now, that can pause. All right, so now that we've got that, <coughs> excuse me. All right, so now that we've got that, let's think about chestnut trees. Actually, actually first, wheels. How big are they? Okay, that's not bad, is it? We can put two girls there. I'm happy with that. Next, and if when we get a metal platform up and running, we most likely will have more girls going. 
there is a chance that I make the metal platforms now. Mm, actually, let's do this first. We'll make the metal platforms once we start producing a lot more metal. All right, let's get all of these going. Put it there as well. So that's a lot of chestnuts. And the rest, look at that, EVP berries. Like that. Because we shouldn't need too many blueberries. To be honest with you, we should not need too many blueberries. Okay, so we've got that all building. Now I will put these as cuttable, but I won't turn it on until I absolutely need to, which at the moment I don't. So that's going to stay like that. Now let's look at this one. Now the reason why I made this one bigger is because it's going to have mostly both um, types of trees in it and it's going to have storage. This is where we're going to keep our storage because our storage has just been being moved around constantly as I make new buildings or new modules. I want to get sort of the storage sorted. So let's... Oh, that would have been lovely if it could go right there, wouldn't it? Ah, oh, that would have been lovely. Hmm. Maybe I would move it down a bit so that they can have a way to go up. Let me think about this. Maybe I'll move these two. Okay, let's put this like this because I want to make it go up. I want to make it go up like this. So we definitely have a lot of storage. Like we are not going to be shy when it comes to storing wood. Okay, so this is what we've come up with. If that is what, 12, 12, 24 storage solutions. I think it's 24. Yes, it is. Now we've got an access point on this wall and we've got an access point down here. Now I don't know how far things going to be at the moment, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. But then we need a forester. We need a pepper shack. Look how bung right there. We need some of these, not too many, because at the end of the day, this is just emergency wood. And we can do something like this. There we go. There we go. Now we're gonna have the pine on this side because that will help with the pepper shack. And we'll have the birch on this side. And we will all be done. So they just need to build that really. And then we're done with wood really. We've, we've done a lot of wood production. <laughs> we've done a, an unnecessary amount of wood production. All right, so let's get that finished. Okay, and that is all done. I haven't built the tapper, sh uh, tapper shacks yet because I haven't made any gears. And I'll make that eventually. That'll be done definitely by the next episode. But here you have it. And we've raised the water a bit. We've raised the water up to two blocks high. That's amazing, isn't it? I am actually looking now. I could most probably, once we get our berries sorted, I could most probably raise it. 2.5 that'd be amazing that is coming together nicely so guys unfortunately this is all i have time for today i hope you all have an amazing day i hope you all enjoyed the episode and i'll see you in the next one where we're most probably gonna start sorting out this water storage and maybe even tap into some metal production because i really want to start using metal platforms anyways guys i'll see you in the next episode peace